a chilling account from inside the classroom, an Appalachian High School junior describes the tense moments leading up to a horrific mass shooting. In this exclusive, you'll hear how she and her classmates narrowly escaped tragedy, as 14-year-old Colt Gray gunned down four people and injured nine others. What happened moments before the shooting unfolded? Stay with us as we break down this gripping story, revealing the bizarre behavior of the suspect, Colt Gray and how one student's quick actions may have saved lives. The Quiet Kid with a Dark Secret Laila Sayuraf, a junior at Appalachia High School, was sitting next to 14-year-old Colt Gray in her algebra class on the day of the shooting. She describes him as a quiet, often absent student, someone who would typically give one-word answers in conversations. He never really talked, Sayuraf told CNN, he wasn't in school most times, and when he did talk, it was just one-word answers. Her recollections of Gray paint the picture of a distant, disconnected teen, someone who fit the unsettling stereotype often associated with mass shooters. Minutes before the gunfire On the morning of the shooting, Gray excused himself from the classroom, leading Sayuraf to think he was skipping class again, something she says he often did. He left at 9.45 a.m., but what happened next would turn their world upside down. After an announcement came over the loudspeaker, instructing teachers to check their emails, Grace suddenly reappeared at the classroom door, gun in hand. One student moved to open the door for Gray, still unaware of the impending danger. But the situation took a horrifying turn when the student jumped back after spotting the weapon. I guess he saw we weren't going to let him in, Sayuraf recalled. Gray then turned toward the adjacent classroom, which had an open door, and that's when the shooting began. Panic and survival Chaos erupted as Gray fired off rounds, sending students scrambling for cover. Most people just dropped to the floor, piling on top of each other, Sayuraf said, vividly describing the terrifying scene. Her friend in the next classroom witnessed someone getting shot, leaving him horrified and shaken, covered in blood and limping. He looked horrified, she added. The nightmare left four dead, including 14-year-old Mason Shermerhorn, the first victim to be identified. Shermerhorn, an autistic student, was tragically killed in the violence that shattered the small community of Winder, Georgia. The aftermath Gray surrendered to law enforcement without resistance, laying down his weapon when confronted. Barrow County Sheriff Judd Smith confirmed that Gray will face multiple charges, including murder, and will be tried as an adult. While investigators continue to piece together the motive and how Gray obtained the firearm, the school and community are left grappling with the trauma of the shooting. Families rush to the school in frantic attempts to find their children as the campus turned into a scene of chaos. The story of Colt Gray's attack on Appalachia High School is as tragic as it is terrifying. What do you think of the chilling moments leading up to this deadly incident? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on this story. Stay safe, and thanks for watching!